Segment 10, we're taking you inside the lab where researchers say they've developed a new material that could go a long way in helping clean up our lakes and rivers. Matt Belanger shows us the breakthrough and explains the unlikely place where it all started. We need characterization with SEM exactly like this one. Professor Abdenor Abbas worked for two years at the University of Minnesota to perfect this sponge-like material to quickly remove toxins from water. Quickly and in a very cheap way, uh, clean uh, the water. So this is what the foam looks like before researchers begin. You might think this is some kind of space-aged, high-tech material, but they say this is the exact same kind of foam you'd find in a typical mattress. In fact, they bought it at Target. I sent my students to a local store and I asked them, just get the cheapest sponge you can find because we don't want, uh, there's no point in making a technology that no one can buy. Tiny particles added to the foam soak up contaminants in seconds. Professor Abbas showed us a sponge he developed to remove mercury. And all your mercury is here right now. So that water is clean. Not only is the mercury contained, it's instantly transformed into something harmless, so the used sponge can be safely discarded. It's often referred to as a neurotoxin. Bruce Munson with the Minnesota Pollution Control Agency says more than 1,600 Minnesota lakes and rivers have high levels of mercury. You know, obviously, the people that fish here would like to see the mercury levels reduced, so they, they don't, they're not limited in what they consider to be safe consumption of fish. Yes, and you don't see Professor the Abbas also says the sponge is powerful. He says one to clean all of Como Lake in St. Paul, for example, would only need to be the size of a basketball. Other versions could be developed to remove other toxins. Clean water is one of the biggest uh, issues, one of the biggest problems, not only in Minnesota, but uh, worldwide. In St. Paul, Matt Belanger, 5 Eyewitness News. And that project was funded through the state's MinDrive initiative. Researchers are already in talks with two companies to market that technology. They hope to see it in use within a year.